Hello, my name is Victor Romain. This is my final project for web design. I created a website called Music Matcher. It's supposed to be like a dating website, but to find new music to listen to based on the uh, genre that you select in the application. So on the home page here, we have a download button. It actually works and downloads an EXE file that I created in Visual Studio using C Sharp. Next, we have a table here with featured music of the week. We have the artist name and then hyperlinks to Spotify of the song. Uh, in the footer here, we have copyright information and contact details, which opens your desired email application and sends an email to victorromaine at musicmatcher.com. Obviously not real email address. Um, so then we have our navigation bar up here. It's animated using Java. And we have the other pages. So about us, Music Matcher is the best way to discover new music and et cetera, et cetera. Then we have the download page. Uh, this is the same download button from the home page, but down here we do have past versions, kind of like in a GitHub sort of style, uh, where you can download past versions of it. Each one is not actually a download link, but it is uh, made to mimic the feeling of one uh, using the hover attribute in CSS. And then we have the how to use section. So this is uh, how to use the application when you download it. So you download it. This is also hyperlinked to the actual exe file. Uh, you launch it, you select your genre, and it spews out different songs for you under that genre. And step four, Music Matcher has saved the day. You now have new music to listen to. Um, and next we have the need help section, which is a form as a table uh, where you type in your full name, the type of issue, whether it be bug, feedback, suggestion, or if I somehow suggested you uh, music that's not under that genre. Uh, and then you describe the issue in this text area box. It is limited to 678 characters and you submit it. And then we have the source code, which pretty much is a download link to my code that I used. Um, and so some things I wanted to go over before demonstrating the application. Uh, so some difficulties I ran into were responsiveness to the uh, size of the web page, but I overcame that by making the logo disappear whenever the web page gets small. And I uh, accomplished this by actually using right here. Uh, I use w 3 CSS and I used, oh, whoops. What did I just press? Duplicate. <laughs> I used w3-hide-small. And that made it way easier than having to go into uh, and make a media query. Uh, and that's pretty much what I found easiest about making this entire website. A lot of W3 uh, classes in their CSS came in handy and was actually my main source of using CSS. Uh, I, I didn't have that much CSS. I did, but I didn't. Uh, it would have been way more if I didn't use W3's uh, classes. And I even used, I even modified one of their classes to uh, import the color palette. So yeah, it really came in handy. Uh, the only other issue I really ran into was just a suggestion from a friend that I should make a table with past, past versions of uh, the application. And um, I'll go ahead and launch the application now. So we press keep. And we go ahead and launch it. It launches this right here. It's an exe file and then you select it. So I selected hip, hip hop, and we have Rap Star by Polo G, Astronaut in the Ocean by Master Wolf, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Indie, Are You Bored Yet? featuring Clearo by Wallows, Lo-Fi, Pop, and Rock. And then there's an exit button. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, straightforward, pretty much simple. Uh, I'll go ahead and view other people's websites and give feedback as well. I appreciate everybody watching and I wanted to thank you. Uh, one more other thing I did want to mention that when uploading to WebDAV, the colors were pretty much off. Uh, when I shrink the web page, it doesn't line up. Don't know why. 
Uh, and finally, I could not upload my exe file in the resource file uh, in the resource file the way that I did with this. Uh, if I press keep, it doesn't do anything. And when I go to show all downloads, it says failed, no file exists. I, I didn't know how to fix it, so I'm just going to include that in the resource file uh, in the zipped folder that I upload with my submission for the assignment. So yeah, that is it. Thank you very much and have a great day.